Fear not, if you have an iPhone and you forgot the passcode to the device for whatever reason, maybe you purchased it used and it has a passcode and you know, you don't know what to do and you want to use the phone or maybe it's a relative's phone. I've had this happen to me plenty of times. Fear not, there is a way to remove the lock screen passcode from an iPhone. Let's get started. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and get your computer. So I got my computer right here. This software works on Mac and Windows. So I'm going to be showing you all on Windows, but it's literally identical of a process for both. And this is called iTool Lab. Link will be down below in the description. Right now it's free to download. Um, so go ahead and click on free to download. And then once you actually do download it, it can do a lot of different things. So it can remove activation lock. It can remove an Apple ID from a device if you don't know the password. And on top of that, you can do a bunch of other things related to screen time. I once forgot my screen time passcode and this will help reset it. Um, but we're gonna be focused on unlocking the screen passcode. So here's what you wanna do. It's giving you a warning that this will basically erase all of the, uh, the data on the device. Um, you wanna make sure your iPhone is charged and it will update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS. You do just want to note that your Apple ID and password will be prompted at the beginning of the device setup. So just know you will need to know your Apple ID. Go ahead and click on start and it's gonna let you know what you need to do. So it's gonna tell you, all right, put your device into DFU mode and here is how you do that. So first things first, we're gonna wanna connect the device. So I got my iPhone right here, plugging it in and I'm gonna plug it into my computer and we're gonna put this in DFU mode, very simple. Here's how you put a device into DFU mode. Shut the device down like this and once the device is shut down, your computer might make some sounds. Go ahead and press the volume up, then the volume down, and then we're gonna hold the power button. So up, down, power button, and I'm gonna hold. Now we're gonna see the Apple logo, and we're gonna keep holding until we see a uh, little iTunes Connect logo, you'll see what I mean, but it won't be an Apple logo. So you can see I'm still holding this. Right now I'm not touching any other buttons. I'm simply just holding, 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 holding. And this will take probably about 30 seconds or so. Um, we're just gonna wait this out. But your device does need to be in DFU mode for this software to work. And this will wipe the iPhone lock screen passcode. Boom, right here. You may have heard my computer made a sound. So you can see it's plugged in. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is it's going to update my iPhone and we're going to click on download and then from here it will take some time. It will probably take about 10 minutes. Uh, it is a five gigabyte file. It's basically download a new copy of iOS and I will be back when this is finished. All right, once it's finished, you'll get a screen like this. It says this package has been downloaded successfully and we're going to click on unlock now. So right now, it's basically gonna say, leave your iPhone connected to the computer and this will avoid it from being bricked. You can see that I have my iPhone right here and it's going to be verifying and it's verifying some things right now. It should take about 10 minutes, but it looks like it's going to be done faster and I will be back when that is finished. And make sure not to disconnect the device during this process. You can see that during this process, the iPhone recovery logo changed to an Apple logo and my computer's making sounds, but right now it is still loading. So just be aware, you will get the loading bar. So this is a good sign. This means the software is working properly and your iPhone lock screen passcode will be removed. So I'll be back shortly with the next change. Now on my computer, the menu bar or the status bar is almost at like 99%. And you can see my iPhone right here is almost done as well. So we're just gonna give it a little bit more time. Should be done soon. This total process has taken me almost 17 minutes so far. You can see my iPhone is about to reboot. Computer just made a noise. Computer also says the background process is complete if you can see that. So you can just go ahead and click on done. But before I do that, I'm just gonna make sure that my iPhone is reset. So you can see we got one more bar to wait for. So you can see my iPhone has been reset. And like I mentioned earlier, you do need to know your Apple ID, but the passcode is reset. So we can go ahead and set up your iPhone like new. And 
So once you've typed in your Apple ID, you can click on continue and you can choose, you know, just don't use Face ID or use it if you want. I'm gonna choose not to use anything and you can then remove, you can choose to restore from an iCloud backup if you'd like. I'm just not gonna transfer anything because I don't care. And then you can get all your data back if you've had it all saved in iCloud from another device. So that's pretty much essentially it for this video. You can see I sped through the whole process and now I have my iPhone unlocked. Thanks for watching. Peace.